that's where we got to go. No, oh, we're going to lose him. So we're moving camp up and over a mountain and we're gonna walk across this creek. We're gonna pull our boots off, just try to keep them as dry as possible. It's just that temperature that your stuff just doesn't dry out. Crossing a river, I like to tie my boots together and then throw them over top of my pack so that they're not in my way and they can be there when, when I need them. <laughs> On a faster flowing river, I wouldn't do my pack up. It was deeper, but this isn't deep. Now I'm looking in the river for flat rocks to step on because obviously you don't want to rip your foot open but I kind of got to be watching all the time. So we've done a big push today right from early morning uh, up and down over three mountains to get into some new country that we haven't glassed before and we just crested the, the saddle and this is what we're rewarded with. It's absolutely spectacular. I haven't seen any sheep yet, but you know, nonetheless, when that is your window in the morning when you open up your tent, it's been well worth it. So we just came up the mountain here into this new valley, and on a ridge line about a mile away, there's one legal broom ram. But he doesn't come down real low, and he's with two really young rams. They're right on the ridge line, so there could be more just below them. I think what we'll do is we'll go to the next mountain and we'll see if we can get a little bit more elevation. And um, they're all bedded down, so I'm hoping that there's something just on the other side. It's welcome news after what we've been through, not just today, but days of not seeing sheep, so. I think what we need to do is we just need to get closer. I think that he's legal by length, but I want to get a really good age on him. Yeah. And then we'll make a decision. He's gonna go out of sight. No shot.
we're making a mistake right now. We gotta go out there. We're just way too exposed. We cannot do it. Just increasing the length of shot now. I think if we go just up another 50 yards, there's enough camber in this mountain that those young ones won't see us and we should be able to work our way down to where the big rams went. They split up into two groups. They're right there. Checking from the top. Ready? <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> We've absolutely worked for this one. It's almost like it actually never happened. All of us have been just digging so hard and just keeping positive and keeping going and motivated and not quitting and up and going and rain or shine or it doesn't matter. And that is what we're rewarded with. That's the reward, but it's been this whole journey that's just been epic yeah. in, in a lot of ways. And I hate saying that word, but I mean, it's just, it's been a grind. As I've been grinding, I've been thinking, you know, you know, this is so hard while we're doing it, but if we cap this off with an awesome ram, then it's just gonna be, I'm gonna have nothing but good memories of all this suffering. <laughs> and that's what we got right down there. I think we earned, we, I think we've, we've, we put in the miles. I think we earned this one. Yeah. Let's go down there and check them out. Today, three mountains, today, alone. There he is. Right down in the bottom of the drainage to get into this new valley. And this was like the last minute. We have two days of food left. This was pretty much our last hope because it's new country. And then we were gonna drop off the top and then look at the front, but that's it. Once we did that, it was over. I don't think we could be any happier with how this turned out. We've got ourselves a great ram. He's old. I've got him at 12 for sure, maybe 13. It's been a really difficult hunt. A lot of miles, a lot of mountains, a lot of days without seeing sheep. We passed up a good ram on day one, which is kind of the classic thing. <laughs> There's a lot of credit that goes to everybody. Um, on this team and I also missed my 20th wedding anniversary to be on this hunt. There's nothing that can, re you know, replace that. So I'm looking forward to getting home and, you know, giving my wife Denise a hug and saying thank you. So this is going to take all of our skill to get out of here safely. We've made it to the river late last night, We've got our pack rafts back, we're going to load them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the meat inside the raft. Obviously the water will keep it good and cool, but more than anything, it'll keep the weight distribution as low as I can get it in the boat. And I'm gonna need all the stability I can get on this river. The river is now raging. There's a third more water than there was when we got here. We've basically been in the mountains and it's rained every night or every day for 10 days. We're out of food, there is no going back, and now it's time to put it all together and you know get home safe. But it's gonna be exciting, I can tell you that for sure. It's nice to see the sun after days of rain, but this adventure isn't over because we have a big paddle with some serious navigation in the white water. So there's no time to relax, it's foot on the throttle and keep after it.
So boats are loaded, we're ready to go. This is the last part of the adventure. Once we get through this, then get to the plane, and then we're on our way. But it's a full day on the water. It's a full day before we're out of here for sure. We just have to do it as safely as possible and just make sure ideally nobody goes for a swim. <laughs> 